Well, there's the old tannery. I got it loaded down with a bunch of stuff. It ain't as much as what really looks. The big bag there has actually got my helmet in it. I turned my helmet. And I wanted that big bag on there for a helmet for one reason, one reason only. Uh, I'm getting ready to go on a, about a seven, six or seven, eight day ride. I'm gonna go from Illinois to Kansas, or Illinois to Missouri, Missouri to Kansas, Kansas to Oklahoma, Oklahoma to Arkansas, Arkansas to Louisiana, and probably come back through Tennessee and Kentucky and straight back up to the heart of Illinois, go back home. And that's what I'm saying, the reason why I'm taking the big bag for the helmet is because the only two states that have to wear a helmet is uh, Tennessee and Louisiana. Uh, now, that, that, you know, it's like some people, they, they might get, get all upset. You know, if you want to wear a helmet, by all means wear a helmet. I've got no complaints with it. i got, you know, that's it, none of my business. But, and I'm not saying anything bad about helmets. I'm just saying, I'm 72 years old, and I've done pretty damn good about wearing a helmet. The Illinois never had a helmet law, thank God. And, and uh, but anyway... But it's, everybody ought to have their own choice. And that what I'm saying is you are your own best safety device. You know, you use your head, use your common sense, and you should be all right. I, I avoid crowds. I avoid heavy traffic. I draw, uh, avoid interstates. I avoid big cities. Okay, maybe that's why I've been so lucky. But I just, I, it, it's like... It's like going out there and trying to build your fire when you just spilt gasoline over yourself, okay? You're taking a chance you don't need to. But anyway. Anyway, no, on this trip, like I said, I was, I was going to do this. I was going to do this trip earlier, but it got postponed. We was going to do it the second of this month. But we had some brand and weather, and it just, uh, it was uh, confused and didn't know what it was doing. So we just kind of had to wait a little bit. And it looks like Friday is going to be a good window for us to get out of uh, Illinois. And like I said, we should be all right across Missouri and Kansas. But I've got my rain gear, you know, so it's like, you know, I didn't come prepared for it. We're going to camp for a few days as well. And it's just a, just a good ride. We, where we're going, we're going to Lebanon, Kansas, which is, uh, it's famous for being the central point of the continental USA, the lower 48. It's the center point, point of the country. <clears throat> and there's nothing there, but it's like, well, you know, it's like going, going nowhere. That's where we're going to go. So, And so it's just all right. And then there is a place in Oklahoma called Nowhere. It's next to some lake. I forget the name of the lake is. And it's actually, they, it's a, just a, like a small community uh, like one block and they had to call themselves nowhere so we're going to go to nowhere and then uh, like i said go through arkansas and uh just dip into louisiana louisiana just enough to say it. we've been to louisiana and then uh, back up uh, start back north again it should be a good ride uh like i said and think of this you always got to be prepared do i have enough stuff I've probably got too much stuff, but I would rather have too much and not need it than, than to need it and not have it because that sucks, okay? But anyway, just, uh, want, just, get, just want to let everybody know that I'm getting ready to go for a nice ride. And then hopefully after that, I've got, I'd like to, I like to do the part of the Smoky Mountain 500, which we'll want to do that in, in about July, something like that, when it gets really really hot and the water level should be down because there are I think nine river crossings and there's no bridges and I wouldn't want to do that in rainy season uh, this thing well I did on my 300 and it don't have water wings and it can't swim <laughs> all right well I, I just want to kind of let you just you know just let everybody know what I'm going to do and you know the name of the game is just get out and right don't have no destination and you don't have to plan for it just get out and do it just ride to enjoy enjoy the ride that's all there is to it you know it's 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 not a no-brainer it's just just get out there and, and uh, do your own thing your own way and have a good time at it because uh, when it comes right down to the 
end of the wire, it's it's just what you accomplished is the only thing that's going to matter, one way or another. So, but anyway, I don't know. Now, I just wanted to, like I said, I just, uh, my, my garage and big shambles right now, but that's all right. I'll fix it when we get back. And right now, this metal shed, this is a metal, this is a metal card port, and sitting in here is just hotter than blazes right now. Because we finally got some warm weather. We finally got some sunshine. We finally got what we've been waiting for. Now we can sit back and bitch about the heat. <laughs> anyway, I just want to, you know, uh, just wanted to kind of let you know what I was going to do. Uh, you know, if you see somebody after a long road, we'll be taking 36 to 11 in Kansas. And then from there, we're going to go from 11 in Kansas down to uh, south of Oklahoma City. Well, first we'll stop there by Tulsa because I got a friend who lives there. Probably spend the night there. And then uh, we'll go down to nowhere, which is south of Oklahoma City. And then from there, we'll head back east and pick up. Uh, after that, I don't know which route we're going to take. And we'll go from there to uh, Arkansas, and then, like I said, just dip down into Louisiana, and then straight back up. Water road brings you straight back up. So anyway, hey, if I see you out on the road there, uh, give me a wave. I guess that's enough of that. Hey, as always, ride safe and ride free.